<laughs> I'd like to coin the phrase trickle-down diplomacy. Season two of House of Cards is set to debut on Netflix on Valentine's Day, but maybe it's not too late for the producers to add a new scene where Francis Underwood vows to do everything he can to take down Morgan Stanley. Netflix shares tumbling in early trading Tuesday because Morgan Stanley downgraded the stock. Now, Morgan Stanley has some good reasons for saying that they're not as uh, you know, optimistic on Netflix's shares going forward. Morgan Stanley analysts are concerned that the market has really priced in too much success for Netflix in 2014. Shares surged in 2013, up nearly 300%, the best S&P 500 stock. So Morgan Stanley feels that maybe the market thinks that Netflix is going to end the year with more subscribers than is reasonably expected, and that's one of the reasons for the downgrade. Valuation another. Morgan Stanley also concerned about growing competition from other services like Amazon's Instant Prime Video and HBO Go, which is owned by Time Warner, CNN Money's parent company, Hulu as well. Now here's my take. Netflix is still the king of streaming video. I wrote a recent column about them. Don't expect the stock to go up another 300% this year. Obviously that's absurd, but I wouldn't bet against the company either. Netflix has made a history of proving the naysayers wrong. They are going to probably add a very healthy amount of new subscribers. Revenues and earnings are expected to grow at a very, very dramatic clip. Yes, the stock is overvalued, but look at something like Amazon. It's been overvalued for more than a decade and no one seems to care kind of feel like Netflix might be in that similar camp. So Morgan Stanley expressing some caution, as well it should, but that doesn't mean you should jump ship on Netflix probably just yet.